off so everybody can hear me appropriately. I'm Constable Rob Carver from the Winnipeg Police Service, public information officer. We're uh, just off the intersection of uh, Boyd and um, Powers. This afternoon at approximately um, 1240, we responded to a report of a male armed in the rear lane behind me. That's a rear lane be between college and uh, Boyd in the 400 block. A uh, number of officers uh, responded to that call. Mail was located in the rear lane. Um, at some point in time, fairly soon after the initial contact, officers were forced to discharge their, uh, their weapons. Uh, Mail was struck and uh, was transported to hospital in unstable condition. I don't have any details on the individual that was shot other than that. So, uh, because of the nature of this, it's, a, it's an officer involved shooting, uh, IIU will take the lead in this investigation. We have heard that there might be people in the area who have uh, information who might have seen this, who haven't spoken to investigators. Also, that there might be video from people who were in the area. Um, for anyone who either witnessed anything or has anything to, uh, to they feel might be relevant, we ask those people to contact both Winnipeg Police Service investigators, and you could call 6222-986-6222, or to contact the Independent Investigation Unit of the Province of Manitoba. Uh, they would need that information as well, and we want them to have it. So again, anyone who might have been in the area and witnessed anything or heard anything, anyone who may have video from the area, now I will take questions. So what exactly officers were responding to a call about a, a man who was holed up in a home with the armed? Or armed. We, we responded to a report of an armed male in the rear lane behind me. Okay. I am not able to tell you what he was armed with because that is part and parcel of the IIU investigation. Was there some exchange of gunfire that police discharged their weapon? Uh, our officers discharge their weapons. We don't need to be shot at so we fire back. If someone raises a weapon in our direction, officers are expected to be able to stop that threat. In this case, officers discharge their weapons. I'm not going to go into any details about exactly what triggered that mechanism. How many shots were fired? I, again, I, I'm never able to disclose that information on in a situation like this. That, that's an IIU piece. How old is the man? I don't have his age at this point. All I know is that it's an adult male. I believe it's an adult male. It's unstable. So we responded to, uh, the question is, was there immediate danger to people in the area? So we responded to report of an armed male and, and encountered what we believe was that armed male. Some actions on the part of that male caused our officers to discharge their weapons. Anytime our officers are out in a public place and are forced to discharge their weapons, there's obviously a danger. Our officers are trained to be very well aware of where their firearms are, what the backdrop is, to make sure that those rounds aren't going in a, in a direction uh, or, or in an area where someone who's uninvolved would be, could be hit. But I can tell you that um, um, we responded to a report of an armed male, which I think would suggest that there, there would have been a danger to people in the area. And certainly that's the nature of the call that was coming in. People were concerned. The front of the car, yeah. That's the oh one my that god! Gave oh the my last god! Battle. Mm. Oh my god! They just shot him! Oh my! Yeah. Yeah. They just shot him! 